Hey there! In this video we are going to talk about domain and range and that's not really a new topic for you. So um, what we're really going to be doing with domain and range is talking about writing domain and range as um, in the interval notation or the set notation or inequality notation. So, but just to review to make sure that you're um, understanding what we're going to be talking about. We're going to split this, so I'm going to do the domain information on the left and the range over here on the right. All right, when we talk about the domain, we are talking about the x values of a function. Okay, when you were younger, you might have called that the input, and we then talk about this being the independent variable when we talk about domain. And when we're on a graph, our domain is the x-axis. So this right here is our domain. And what we do when we write our domain is we always go from left to right, or if you want to think of it as going from the smallest to the largest. All right, now our range is basically the same idea, except we are talking about the y values of a function. Those are known as the outputs and it is the dependent variable of the function. So, looking on a graph, when we want to talk about the range of a function, we are talking about this direction there. And whenever we write the range, it's the same way as domain where it's smallest to largest number. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from the bottom to the top. Alright, so just to give you an example, um, if we had a range, or sorry, domain, domain of negative infinity to 7 with brackets, that would mean that we're going from negative 7 all, sorry, negative infinity all the way over to 7 and then we're stopping. So that would look something like we've got this shading all the way over here. We get over to 7 and then it stops because the solid dot is what we use when we have a bracket. If we had a range of, let's do negative infinity to 7 with parentheses. So in this case, we're talking about the y values. So we're going way down here and we're coming up all the way up to 7, but then it's going to be an open dot on the 7 because the parentheses means that it goes up to 7 but doesn't include it. It doesn't equal the 7. So that type of situation is going to be the same. Over here, we would say for this that x is less than or equal to 7 because x can be any number that's 7 or smaller. But this one over here, we would say that y is less than 7. First of all, because we're doing the range, we're talking about the y, but also it's going to be 7 not included, but everything less than. So less than 7 is what we use for the parentheses, which is also what we use for the open dot. All right, so that gives you an idea of what we're going to be looking at with domain and range. So what is going to happen, um, or independently, so together what we would be doing is just to give you an example 
of this situation would be, let's say that we have an x and a y axis that looks like something like that. Um, we'll get some numbers here and help us out with that a little bit. All right, so I'm going to make a solid dot right there, and then I'm going to go to an open dot right there, and I'm just going to kind of wave it a little bit there, just because. All right, so if we were asked to write the domain and the range on this, so first off, I'm going to write the domain, and the domain, again, is going left to right. So it starts over here at negative 2 with a solid dot, and it goes on until positive 1 with an open dot. So that's our domain. So I'm going from negative 2 to positive 1. So the domain is talking about the x. And then if I was also asked to find the range, then I'm looking, going this direction for the y's. And the lowest y is negative 2, but it's an open dot. And the highest or largest y is positive 2 with a closed dot. So that's what we're going to be looking for when we do domain and range for one function. So the domain is going from there to there, but the range and I mean, I don't know if it makes sense because we always go down up. So maybe we should say that the range is going like this way because the range goes down to up. All right, that takes care of it. So make sure that you rewatch the video if you need to and answer the questions that are embedded.